Okay, heard from Peter and Paul a few minutes ago, and uh, uh, they have just left Timaru uh, on their way to uh, Omaru. Very excited with uh, what's happening, and I think the value of these visits is immense, allowing guys just to, to raise the issue that they're really concerned about and giving them a pathway for growth. And uh, one of the things that has clearly come out, I think the next thing that we need to work on is to help guys uh, give their men a pathway for spiritual growth that they can put in either a format, uh, a pamphlet format, or something that's displayable because that's really captured them. And it's that motivation uh, to uh, what is the passion rather than what is the obligation and the duty. And sometimes they're calling guys out of a sense of duty to join the team rather than understanding the big picture of significance of legacy and spiritual growth. Yeah, and part of that comes about when uh, you get people who are, are, are wonderful guys, gifted administrators, but they're actually not visionaries, and uh, administrators can do a good job of making things happen really well, but, uh, but actually uh, carrying the vision and, and inspiring people isn't, isn't the role that they, they fall to, because it's not the way God's wired them up, it's the visionaries who who have that happening, the people who've got that picture, the long-term thing that they can see, not just the immediate things that need to happen. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, by the way, it's really cold down here, but... Uh, it's lovely and warm, don't believe it. Uh, we do want to say that we're bringing the heat <laughs> of the North Island down to these guys. Really working very well. Okay, God bless. We'll catch you for the next instalment later.